Open Source Sustainable World Building, One Community Weekly Progress Update number 289. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 289, October 7th, 2018 edition. One Community's mission is to bring together people with a consciousness for the highest good of all life on our planet and to build self replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. And today, what I'd like to talk about is open source sustainable world building. And the reason why I'd like to talk about that is because everything that you see happening in the video in the background here is what we're creating specifically to open source sustainable world building. And the reason why we're doing that is because the way that we're living right now is objectively not sustainable. It's far from sustainable. We are plowing through resources. We are destroying our ecosystems. We are living unsustainably in so many different ways. And the science has identified all the different ways of our lives that this is impacting us. And for the people that are only focused on short-term economic gains, the long-term consequences of what we're doing right now for our economy and economics in general are arguably horrific. We might want to do something differently. And so, one community is about the solution. It's about focusing on what we can do differently and better to solve this crisis that we're in right now. And not just the crisis that we're in right now, but for all the most challenging uh challenge for all the biggest challenges of this generation and generations to come through an adaptable open source sustainability model designed to address the challenges that we are facing globally not just locally, but globally, local action to inspire, inspire global action and to create a global cooperative of people with a consciousness for the highest good of all, working together to create a world for the first time, arguably for the first time in the history of humanity, that truly works for everybody, going all the way back to the times until we get, unless you go back to the times where we were so separated that there was no conflict because there was such an abundance of resources that there was no real need for conflict. And there was enough separation of people, segregation of people, that there was no conflict. And so one community is creating open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions with the idea of creating a global cooperative and collaborative of like-minded people coming together in eco-communities, in urban communities, working together to create a world that works for everybody. People with common vision, common values, and that doesn't mean that it, that we're talking about common vision and values for the entire global organization of collaboration. I'm saying groups of people with common goals and values, which you could go back in history and say, hey, this is how it all started. Groups of people coming together with common goals and values, working together to create a better life for themselves and for their families and for their friends. And we think that the time has come, maybe for the first time in history, that now we can reach out to a global population thanks to the internet, thanks to social media, and we can bring together people from around the world to create open source sustainable world building tools, tutorials, and resources and to change course correct, to course correct the direction that we're going right now to a better one. And so we are addressing all of the foundations of sustainability to create an evolution of sustainability that takes the physical foundations that everybody's familiar with, the food, the energy, and housing, open sourcing and free sharing, all the tools, tutorials, resources, and instructions necessary for replication of sustainable uh, models for those, which are seven different sustainable villages, as you see in that background here, but also and that's food, energy, and housing, but also combining that with the emotional foundations of sustainability that we've identified as, number one, fulfilled living practices built into all aspects of the living experience. Also, highest good education models, highest good economic models, and truer stewardship models. And putting these things together in such a way that everything is in one place and building one community is a living example of that, that people can experience, see everything that is that we're creating, experience everything that is that we're creating, and take what it is that they want and go and replicate it for themselves, either on as individual components or as the complete teacher demonstration hub model 
to be built anywhere in the world, working in cooperation and collaboration with us to open source and free share even more open source sustainable world building components and elements so that we can build the global suite, continue, continue to contribute and mobilize the global cooperative and the global collaborative and create a world that works for everybody to start living as a sustainable culture to start living as a sustainable civilization which we're not doing right now and if something is unsustainable by definition it can't last that's what sustainability is it's sustainable and so if we're living unsustainably we might want to fix that if we care about our children and our grandchildren and the world that they're inheriting from us it makes sense to build the foundations of sustainability and through what it is that we're creating. And the idea of making it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrates attractive enough so the idea will spread on its own, we can create a sustainable planet, a sustainable planet that works for everybody within our lifetime. If you run the numbers on this, of a self-replicating model of just 50 people replicating every year, Within 30 years, we could impact the lives of everybody on this planet, and that's our goal, and it doesn't require involvement of everybody. If you do that self-replicating model for 30 years, that would involve every single human being on this planet, including all the ones that haven't been born yet, that will be born in the next 30 years. But instead, we're really just looking for a small percentage of the human population to get together, to cooperate, to collaborate, to create open source sustainable world building tools and resources that everybody can use. And if we can get just enough people on board to reach that tipping point of public integration and implementation and acceptance of highest good living and the diversity of what highest good living can mean, but with a general foundation of, hey, we want to do what's best for the most people. A live and let live golden rule philosophy of do unto others as you'd have others do unto you, of really helping out humanity to all living creatures on this planet, doing what we can, regenerative living to make a difference in the lives of everybody. If we can reach that tipping point, we will live in a different world and everybody's invited to participate. So with that said, here is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of open source sustainable world building and creating all the open source tools, tutorials, and resources to back that up and make it actually possible. This is one week of our all volunteer team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team continued the web page setup and formatting for the new One Community Home Shares page that shares our structure for individualized and expanded designs of the standard homes in the new Earth Bank Village and beyond. This week, we wrote and added the Home Shares and Phase 1 construction and Home Shares legal structure sections and updated all the pages related to this one, some of which you can see here. We'd say we're now about 70% complete with the creation of this page. The core team also started updating the Vermiculture Bathrooms page by creating a new table of contents, what and why sections, building the initial formatting for the new sections on the page, and updating the introduction to the details section. This is all so we can then bring on the team to finish these designs. You can see some of this work in progress here, and we'd say we're about 30% complete with this round of necessary updates. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, also completed his 24th week leading the development of the Murphy Bed Instructions. This week, he further updated the assembly diagrams by adding in 2-inch board updates for the benches, redoing the parts page, and comparing measurements on part B8A against smaller pieces. You can see some of this work in progress here. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, also continued working on the Earth Bay Village. Here's weekly update 132 from Dean. His focus this week was creating the new layout shown here for the bathroom and kitchen structures. This layout separates the shower and bathrooms for easier use by multiple people and adds a urinal to help with saving water. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. The core team working with Dipti Dondurker, electrical engineer, also continued developing the lighting specifics for the city center. This is Dipti's 97th week volunteering on this task, 
and the focus this week was testing lighting options and finalizing the layouts and selections for the laundry room, which you can see here and now on the website too. The core team also continued updating the Pallet Furniture Open Source Hub by creating and adding new 3D bed, chair, and table graphics, as well as new AutoCAD graphics for the table and chairs. You can see these here, and we'd say this page update is now 90% complete. Aparna Tandon, architect, rejoined the team and created this initial outline for applying the Well Building Standard to the Dubuque City Center. This standard focuses on features across the seven concepts that comprehensively address not only the design and operations of buildings, but also how they impact and influence human behaviors related to health and well-being. Dua Feng, civil engineer, also completed his 23rd week working on the fire suppression and safety systems designs for the Duplical City Center Sprinkler and Emergency Systems Open Source Hub. This week, he further revised Zone B with a new L shape in AutoCAD and put just under 40 hours into updated calculations for Zones F, H, G, K, and N. You can see some of this work here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued writing the behind-the-scenes narrative and the detailed food rollout plan for the various stages of development. This week, we completed the edits to the chicken, goat, and rabbit section of the food rollout Google Doc. We also began edits to the food forest page. You can see some of this work here. In addition, the core team continued working on the apiary hive setup instructions. This week, we researched and added details covering local city codes and where to buy your bees and get your gear. We also started updating the spreadsheet with the apiary items list. You can see some of this work here on the behind the scenes Google development doc. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. With eight years invested in designing it, this component of one community is pretty much complete until we move on to the property and continue to develop it with teachers and students. Completed sections include comprehensive subject outlines covering arts and trades, English, health, math, science, social sciences, technology and innovation, and values. Also, 52 weekly themed lesson plans covering all the subjects we just mentioned, all learning levels and ages, and usable in any learning environment. 12 detailed and progressive curriculum outlines are also complete, Summaries and integration of all the best-known alternative education programs, including Montessori, Waldorf, ORF, Regio, and more, and leadership skills, collaborative assessment formats and forums, a global online free education resource hub, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team updated all our welcome pages and onboarding templates for new volunteers so that they reflect that we're now testing inputting them so they can use the new time tracking software. You can see some of these updates here. This week, the core team working with Jin Hua, web and graphic designer, continued collaboration on our new online marketing strategy and our related grant. This week's focus was bringing on a new person to help with keyword research and continued keyword strategy development and fine-tuning of our conscious music project promotion, some of which you can see here. This week, the Highest Good Network software team consisting of Samya Manahar, software engineer, web developer, and net application developer, and Shuber Mittal, software delivery manager, created the initial setup for moving our application to React, a more commonly used application. As part of this, we connected the app to the API, created the login page, forgot password, force password, update password, and user management setup. We also added auto-deleting of blue squares older than a year and weekly scheduled auto-assigning of blue squares if time commitment was not met. There you have it. There is one week of our all-volunteer team's progress and accomplishments working towards open source, sustainable world building in the interest and support of all of humanity and all life on this planet. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links, 
to all the open source content. Check out our written blog. Check out our website. There is so much information there. We've got eight years of immense work, all volunteer work going into developing all this. You can see more details and specifics and links and everything related to what I've talked about and so much more there. If you'd like to help, visit our helping page. We've got lots of different ways to get involved with our project, ranging from just donating and helping support us because none of us are paid. We're an all unpaid volunteer staff, including myself. So 100% of donations go into forwarding our mission. They don't go to paychecks or anybody on the team, including myself, and uh, helping to create more open source tools and resources and blueprints and do-it-yourself instructions, supporting our web infrastructure and all that stuff. Uh, other ways to help out, of course, you can follow us on social media. You can like or share information on social media. It's by far the easiest way to help out, and it makes a huge difference. Like this video, share this video, make a comment on this video, uh, or do the same thing on whatever social media platform you enjoy most, because we're on all of them. We're on all the most popular ones, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Tumblr, Reddit, uh, Facebook, of course, LinkedIn, I say LinkedIn, and about 15 other of the lesser known social media networks, but that still have millions of uh, followers. So if you're somebody on whatever your social media platform is, we're there. Check us out, join us, share whatever information you feel is most helpful to humanity. Whatever you like most, help us share it. It's a big, big step in the right direction. We really do appreciate that. And uh, of course, Thanks for watching to the end. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your emails, comments. All that stuff makes a really big difference. And we will keep on keeping on until next week. Thank you again for following our progress. Until next week, have a great week. Thanks.